So uh, today we'll be checking out the WooCommerce uh, Card Chain and Save plugin uh, that basically allows your WooCommerce to customers to easily save and share the card to others through multiple apps and links. And uh, this plugin makes the checkout process fast and speedy with a pre-populated card as well. So this also works for the guest users as well. So today we'll see the workflow for the same. So right now at the WooCommerce uh, web store front end, as you can see, so I'm not logged in. So we'll be first checking this uh, functionality for the uh, guest user and then we'll check it for the uh, customers as well. So let's go to the uh, shop page. So I'm not uh, right now, I'm not uh, logged into my account, my customer account. So here I'm at the shop page. So I'll just add a few products to the cart. Now after adding the products to cart, uh, now if I uh, go to view cart, from uh, the view card, we have two tabs here that allow you to have some uh, options there uh, for uh, bringing things into some uh, normality there. For example, you can uh, share your card, you can save your card that you've uh, just uh, created with three products that you have. For example, if you want to uh, save it, uh, you can tap here in the uh, save card button. Then this pop-up appears where you can enter the card title. Uh, let me set it as test 3 and then I can save this uh, card as test 3 done You can see It's uh, saved now after the card has been saved now. I can share and uh, Share as well. So for example, you'll see how uh, now we can check the saved card for the guests So I've logged to this particular browser. So for example, if I go back to my uh, shop page and now I can tap here on my card because I'm not logged in if I tap here on my account you can see that I'm not logged in so I'll just go back to the cart uh, page here and here I have the same uh, card that I've just saved as a guest customer I can also share the cart with other customers as well and over the social networks as well so as a guest so if I tap here in the share card I can tap here in the Facebook button that brings up this section to log into your Facebook account and then you can share your particular card there and uh, the same uh, goes uh, with the LinkedIn. You can uh, share this thing there as well. Uh, you can copy this particular link. You can see that the URL has been copied. Now there will be a difference um, the, to the one that receives this particular link. So if you can see, if I paste this link, I open this link up. We won't be seeing those uh, options as the share one and uh, the other one that we have the save cart one so here we can see we all caught and from here this particular customer who receives this url can uh, basically this uh, can add this uh, or move this particular card to the uh, uh, to his card and can make a checkout thereafter and that particular one can also share the card by just tapping it the share and can make use of any of the social networks like facebook twitter linkedin whatsapp can copy this link and can email this link as well as required now coming back to this thing so we have saved it we have shared the card as well as a uh, guest customer now let's log in and let's see how a customer would be able to see the same so i'll just log into my customer account let's go to the shop page all right not a problem i already have some products in my cart let's tap here on the view cart so here i have happy ninja premium flying ninja and the happy ninja so i can also save my card by tapping here and setting up the name test one two three done card has been saved i can share this uh, particular card with someone on the social networks as well by tapping the particular buttons for the them entering my own credentials for each of them uh, there respectively and can then share the same uh, card with them as well i can also copy a url uh, or email this particular card link to someone on, on whatsapp as well or over the emails as well so that's how this particular plugin uh, that's the woocommerce multi card share plugin works uh, you can save your cards now if you want to check uh, my card i can tap here in the card so here's the same card that we have just uh, saved uh, that's under the uh, card here as you can see right now and uh, and this is how we can uh, do the same over the Twitter as well by logging into our uh, account and then uh, tweeting the same for that particular card link that we have generated 
for the social networks while we're sharing the same now the registered uh, customer or the customer wants to check the complete list of uh, cards that he has saved he can go to my account on here on the customer panel on the left hand side he can tap here on the save card uh, link that we have and here's the card that we have just saved that's to test one two three today if i tap here on the view uh, button we can see the same four products premium quality happy ninja fine ninja and happy ninja the same uh, card that we saved is visible here as well now uh, and apart from that uh, under these uh, what we say as the uh, cards that we have created i can check the card and i can also share this card once again or the social networks can copy the url i can also move it to my real card and can make a check out thereafter so uh, here we can see that these uh, items have now been added to my cart and uh, now I can proceed to check out and can make it check out uh, very easily uh, for these products and can place the order uh, thereafter now let's see the initial configurations required for this particular multi cart share uh, plugin from the admin backend panel and the rest of the configurations there as well so uh, let's log out of the customer account and we'll be logging into the admin uh, backend panel for our uh, WooCommerce based uh, web store. So I'll just log in by entering my uh, backend uh, admin panel uh, credentials. So I've logged in after you've successfully installed this particular plugin. We have a few uh, uh, what we say as uh, configuration settings, initial configuration settings that need to be required before making use of this plugin and thereafter. You can also see the multi and the share card option wherein you have the configuration part you can reach to the configuration and should configuration from here as well and we have the multi and the share card uh, section as well now under the configuration here we have uh, different options we can check those options to enable these uh, functionalities so under the configuration we have enable multi card to enable this particular functionality just check this option to disable uncheck same goes for the enable share cart whether you, you want to enable the uh, share cart uh, feature where you can uh, share the cart or the social networks uh, copy the url or email the url for that particular share cart so enable that functionality check this option otherwise uncheck to disable then we have the save cart uh, endpoint so uh, this is basically the save cart endpoint uh, you can leave it uh, basically to bl uh, blank uh, to allow the unlimited card creation so that would automatically create the different uh, safeguard endpoints for each of the cards there otherwise you can set it as per your own requirement as well then we have the safeguard menu title so here you can see the menu title that we have and here you can add the title for the saved card menu in my account page so uh, whenever the customer checks the created uh, uh, cards uh, multi cards he can navigate to his uh, customer account and there he need to choose uh, the uh, my cards or the save cards option so whatever option name is there you can set it from here then you can set up the button position uh, you want to have it before the card before the card table after the card table after card or after the update card button so that depends upon your own requirement so it basically uh, sets up the uh, button position in the card page itself then we have the multi card settings so from here you can control the multi card settings so you can enable the multi card for guest user so to allow the guest users to add multi uh, card uh, there you can check this option otherwise to disable and check this option then we have the share card settings where you can uh, control the share card settings by enabling the share for the guest users on the social networks uh, you can enable the facebook twitter whatsapp linkedin uh, uh, social network share for the card there you can also enable the copy link option you can also enable the email share option there lastly just tap here in the save button and you're done making national configuration settings for this particular plugin now let's go to the multi and the share card section and here the admin can find all of the created uh, 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 cards uh, multi cards from the customers at the storefront be it a guest user or be it a registered user here we have this one is the first one that we created test 3 it was the guest user and then we had the test one two three by a registered user so you can see those uh, details are here and uh, from here the admin can make bulk actions like he can edit move to trash the saved cards from here he can also tap here on the links 
that you can see the edit link that we have and uh, oh, that's for editing the uh, user itself let me go back I'm sorry for that so that uh, that's much about this section here and I hope it helped you out in uh, uh, understanding the flow of this particular plugin and the admin can also search the carts by entering the name of the cart here for example if I type, uh, type in test and tap on the search carts here we have the test 3 and the test 1, 2, 3 so from here the admin can quickly find the saved cart of the customers uh, there so uh, please uh, do subscribe to our channel and if you uh, like the video do give it a thumbs up uh, so as to give us more motivation to create more and more such videos Apart from that, uh, you can also subscribe and you can press the bell icon to receive the latest updates uh, for the uh, different features that we are creating for the open source platforms there and immediately for the e-commerce uh, verticals there. And uh, if you have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements, then you can always get back to us at support at webpool.com or you may raise it to get at webpool.uvdesk.com. And thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.